Hey everybody, John DeVito there. Um, good morning. Greetings from De Beer, Wisconsin. Today is Tuesday, March 4th, right? Yep, March 4th, 2017. The local time is uh, 10.30. Yeah, they've taken their time, I tell ya. I didn't mind, I was asleep the whole time. Um, we are loaded and we're just waiting for about two more minutes for E-Log to update. For the meantime, I'd like to say hello and greetings to Julie Davis, Michael Wallace, and uh, also I would like to once again say there is no concrete information to whether my boss is going to buy the T680 uh, but I would imagine that if he did I I would probably go for one and also to Elisa Richard Al Graham, Joseph Sikora, uh, Chris, Chris Ritter, Ritusen, Bill Fitzpatrick, about the, how many miles do you drive per year? I have no idea. Sam Rugtiv, Rugtiv, uh, Michael Taylor, also, uh, Brian LaForge. Hey, Brian. Uh, Terry Barnes. One more minute. We gotta go. Yeah, people keep asking about the T680s. I, I don't have any more information. I, I did a video about that on Friday or Saturday, and I guess you guys, some of you missed it. All right, we gotta go. We are on our way to Appleton, Wisconsin. I met Dump Truck Bob, but I have not met Trucker Who. Uh, I met Bob over there at the uh, Petro in Girard, Ohio, several years ago. Gosh, it's got to be at least three years, possibly. I met him and his beautiful, lovely, very nice, soft-spoken wife.
McDonald and over there in uh, Little Shoe. Get me some coffee. Get me some coffee. Somebody asked me once, why is Baby Blue shaking and making all kinds of noise? My response is, she's designed that way. <laughs> she's a freightliner, of course. That's a freightliner trademark. to mention the uh, that video called uh, the hillbillies from Sheboygan or of Sheboygan what happened was they had a ballet system and I, I didn't know and I saw a parking lot behind a restaurant and I thought well that's got to be it so I just pulled in, drive in, try to park. <laughs> Next thing I know, the guy chased after us. And I guess we were just supposed to stop at the curb and give him the keys and, you know, give us the ticket. Well, we didn't know. Now on the way back out, Oh, uh, we gave him the ticket. We expected him to give us the keys. <laughs> Little did we know that we were supposed to wait inside, all by the curb, and uh, and he go and get the car. <laughs> oh boy. That was our first ballet uh, service ever experience. And that's why at that video you guys saw uh, the girls laughing. Sorry about that. Um, I was telling them, you know, it would be so funny if we were, you know, inherited a lot of money or won the lottery and all that, you know, scenario and said we go to the fanciest hotel in New York or in the world. And I bet you that the waiters, the billboys and you know, the staff would instantly recognize that we're not, you know. I mean, my daughter says, yeah, we have to wear ex really expensive clothes. I said, yeah, that would help, but you can't, you can't cover your, uh, your commonness. Yeah. You can't cover that with expensive clothes and handbags and expensive glasses. They would instantly recognize that we're, <laughs> we're from Timbuktu. <laughs> I love spending time with my family, hey, man. All kinds of laughters and sometimes argument. <laughs>
But I love it when AJ or Nors, Jackie, and AJ hang out together. Yeah, I wish Nords lived in Sheboygan, but Nords lives just in uh, Nords just lives in Milwaukee, and that's why we rarely get to see her. When she turned 18, she couldn't wait to get out of the house, and she did. And I can see a little bit of a regret on that, on her part, for that decision. Anyway. Well, we'll catch you guys later in uh, Appleton. As always, thank you for watching and happy Tuesday, everyone. Peace.